Hi everybody, I want to release uh, three words to you today. Um, I had been looking through my journal, um, my journals, and I had earmarked this word this morning. Um, the Lord puts uh, phrases and brings remembrance to me of words that He has given me, and that's how I know to start looking for them and to put them up now. And I had earmarked this one, and I wasn't too sure if it was really him letting me know that this word needed to be released because it is it's it's a very clear word and um a sister in christ um had been emailing me and she gave told me a word the lord had given her and it had pretty much the same message so um, we both felt that it was confirmation that the lord wants us both to release the words that he gave us and i'm going to read the verse the, this, the uh, words and um, take this to the Lord, pray about it, and um, stand strong. And this is the first one, and the Lord gave this to me on July 12, 2014, but I know I need to release it now. He said, Be advised, the storm is coming. Put on your garments of mourning and sackcloth. The time is now. It will be fierce. So many are not ready. My glory will be seen upon this earth. There is nothing man can do but cry out to me. I am the rock. I am the fortress that you must run to. Lift your head up and look to me. Forsake this world. There is nothing here for you. I will accomplish all that I have set out to do. My will stands. Go forth. Go forth. There is no time left to flee the wrath to come. Close your doors and seek my face. It comes. It comes. Nothing will hold it back. The, fate, the force will be great and no one will stand that are not hidden in my son. We are your life. We are your strength. He is your soon coming king. All will bow before him. He and I are one. We will ride through this earth and seek our own. Hold on to me with all that you have. I am not far off, but I am here. I am that I am, and all will know that I am. And I want to give a word, that uh, a scripture verse, verses that he um, gave me that go along with this. And it's found in Ezekiel 30, 36, verses 22, and I'm not sure how far they go. The Lord said, Thus says the Lord God, It is not for your sake, O house of Israel, that I am about to act, but for the sake of my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations to which you came. I will sanctify my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, and which you have profaned among them. And the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when through you I will display my holiness before their eyes. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness and from all your idols. I will cleanse you. A new heart I will give you, and a new spirit I will put within you, and I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and make you follow my statutes and be careful to observe, observe my ordinances. And I believe he gave me that because those of us he's been speaking to know that there will be a transformation. We will have his heart and we will go out and all will see his glory on his people. And I want to give you this word that he gave me two days after the first one. He said, Beware, it is forthcoming. Rain, terrible rain. A rain of terror like the world has never seen. Can you see? Do you hear? Hide yourself in me. I am your hiding place. Nothing will harm my beloved. She knows my voice. Another she will not follow. Trust in me, for I will guide you. Take my hand. I am the living stone, a rock of all ages. 
Nothing will move me. I am all-powerful. I must test my people. Who will they choose? Temptation comes, and all hearts will be laid bare before me. And I want to end with this scripture, or this word the Lord gave me on March 19th, 2015. And he said, O oh, my child, my child, listen to what I say to you. Now is the time. All my children will know the hour. It is time. Stay inside. Be ready. Listen for my voice. Behold, I come. And I know that there are going to be people who are going to say that we don't know the hour. And I don't know why people say that. Because there's scripture verse to confirm that his people are not in darkness. And I want to read that to you now. And it's in 1 Thessalonians and it's in chapter 5. I'm going to read verses 2 through 6. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore let us not sleep, as do others, but let us watch and be sober. So we do know, those of us who are listening and watching and waiting for the Lord, he is faithful, and he is telling us what he's doing. And so I beseech you, brethren, to listen for the voice of the Lord, to pray and seek his face and seek confirmation, for he is coming. God bless you all. Bye.